So everyone, I think I might have found the ultimate charging station or nightstand charging hub that you could find because from a price standpoint, from a feature standpoint, and everything in between, this company has thought of every single thing from a user experience standpoint, from having a kill switch, to making sure you have a toggle to turn off the light indicators, and everything in between. So without further ado, this is the new Zira Vox N a charging station, and this might be the most recommendable product that I've ever had. But let me tell you why. So normally when I review these types of products, I kind of save the actual price till the end, but I'm gonna tell you guys the actual price right now, and then I'm gonna tell you all the features, and you're gonna actually be very impressed with what you get for this price point. So they have two options. They have the $75 option, which is this exact stand, with a very premium braided cable, which I'll touch on in a little bit, without the actual charging brick. But then if you wanna add the charging brick, which is a 65 watt GAN charger that has two USB-C ports and a USB-A port, then that'll be $110. And for any other premium charging stand that I've seen like this, for a three-in-one MagSafe charging stand, you're looking at anywhere from $100 to even $200, depending on the brand, depending on the finish, and things of that nature. But to get into exactly what this thing is and why I think it is now my most recommendable kind of charging station is this is a three-in-one on the surface. So if you look at it from the surface, you know, you go through the packaging, it is some pretty premium packaging overall. You open it up and there it is, the actual three-in-one charging station or what you think is a three-in-one charging station. And like I said, on the surface, it just looks like a well-designed charging station. It has your three different charging zones. You have your MagSafe section, which is your MagSafe stand. You have an Apple Watch section and you have an additional wireless charging kind of platform there to charge, you know, some auxiliary items like AirPods or maybe even a secondary iPhone. But I'm first gonna tell you a little bit about this design because the design itself is very nice and weighted. And one of the biggest things that are kind of annoying with some of these charging stands is that they're not weighted enough, so I have to use two hands to actually remove the iPhone from the actual MagSafe magnetic puck because, again, those magnets are getting stronger and stronger. If you also have a magnetic case on there, then those magnets are gonna pull even more, which, from a sturdiness standpoint and from making sure that it stays charged and stays on the stand is great. But if it's on my nightstand and I'm trying to pull my phone off of it real quick, I don't wanna have to reach over with both hands to remove the iPhone completely. It is made of a nice plastic on the bottom and that's where they probably save some money, but it is still hefty and it does have a nice brush finish to make it look like a titanium finish. And then on top of it, it's kind of like this soft Alcantara finish, which they kind of said that you can put like rings and necklaces on there. I mean, I'm not using it for that, but it is a nice little finish and it's nice to the touch overall and it's very minimal branding as well. So the first charging section is actually the charging stand. It is a MagSafe compatible stand. And as you can see, when you put your iPhone on there, you do get that MagSafe animation on your phone whenever you use that charger specifically. And that'll charge your phone up to 7.5 watts. So it's not the fastest in the world. And it's not MagSafe certified. And I like to make that distinction because MagSafe certified means you have to go to Apple, get a license, pay a lot of money probably to get it certified to get that full 15 watt charging in terms of speed but you can get the MagSafe compatible by adding the magnetic rings and also adding that animation on the iPhone like you guys did see in the B-roll, but that'll charge up to 7.5 watts, which honestly for an overnight stand is more than enough, or even for a desk stand, because that's probably where this is gonna live. Then you have your classic Apple Watch charger, which will charge any Apple Watch, whatever the generation is. It is not the fast charging version that the new Series 8 and I believe the Series 7 have, but I only have a Series 5, which is more than enough, so it does charge that at five watts. And then you also have that platform. Now, this is kind of where it starts to set itself apart a little bit because most of these kind of three-in-one chargers that I've used, whether it is from a high-end brand or something maybe a little bit cheaper, that platform doesn't have any magnets. It is not a MagSafe platform. And now these AirPods, whether it's the AirPods 3, the AirPods Pro, they have MagSafe magnets built into them to allow for those MagSafe compatible attachments. So this is actually a MagSafe surface. So it is magnetically attached. So you don't have to worry about knocking over the AirPods or making sure that you kind of fiddle and make sure that it fits on the actual Qi wireless charging pad because this will magnetically place your AirPods where they're supposed to be, which is a great thing to have. And then of course, on the front side, you get your three light indicators, which will correspond to the middle one being that it's actually plugged in completely. So just to let you know that it is receiving power. And then the right and left one will turn on when you put in an iPhone and put in a secondary wireless charging device, like another iPhone, or like I said earlier, AirPods. So those are your three light indicators. And now the first thing from a user experience standpoint, which I know a lot of people hate, and I'm one of those people. So when you have one of these nightstands and they have these charging indicators, which are great to have to know that you are actually charging these devices, and you're using them as a nightstand, those light indicators can be a little bit too bright and annoying, especially if you're somebody that likes to sleep in pitch black darkness. So to alleviate that, if you actually flip the device on its rear, there's a little switch there that actually slides a cover in front of those lights to completely black them out. So you're still charging your devices, it's not turning anything off, 
the only thing that it's doing, it's technically covering those indicators. So you're not physically turning anything off, but it is getting in the way. And now those light indicators won't actually wake you up or be annoying when you're trying to fall asleep on your nightstand. So from a user experience standpoint, that's one thing that nobody else has really thought of, which is something very easy to implement, but they were able to do this very seamlessly and very easy. And again, you're not turning off the charger, you're just turning off the light indicators. And then on the platform itself, you might've noticed that there's this big yellow dot, which is made out of rubber or this big yellow button that's made out of rubber. And that has a couple of purposes. And again, for most people, I'm gonna recommend them using this as a nightstand because of this feature particularly. So this button actually has two different situations and two different functions. The first one is that it's a complete kill switch. So for some reason, you just wanna use this as a stand or you just wanna use this to prop up an iPhone and you don't wanna charge it because you're at 100% already, you can actually hold this power button down or hold this yellow button down to completely kill all power going to any of these different chargers. So if you hold it down, it'll kill all the power going to each one of these wireless chargers, including the Apple Watch one. So if that's something that you'd like to have, it's always great to have more options and all you have to do is, is hold it down. And then if you look at the rear of this device, you might notice that these metallic stands on the back are a little bit of a different color. They're more translucent. And the reason is because this actually, when you just press and tap this actual button, it turns the back of it into a nightlight and it has three different settings. So you have a high, mid, and a low setting. So if you are using this and you do like to actually sleep with some light on, you can actually use this as a nightstand light. You can use this as an actual lamp if you want to because it is bright enough, especially in a dark environment on that highest setting. Or if you just wanna have a cool backdrop, maybe when you're making videos like I'm doing right now, then having this on is a great thing to have. And this is something that, again, I've never seen anybody else do. It's a nice little quality of life enhancement and they probably thought to themselves like, hey, and they probably thought to themselves, hey, most people either have a nightlight or some sort of lamp on their desk alongside of their charger. So why not just build it all into one, make more room on your nightstand and be able to just use this as not only your charger, but also as your lamp or your nightlight. And then if you turn the device around or the actual stand around, you do see that you have a USB-A port as well, which will output up to 10 watts of power. So if you have a third device or a fourth device that you wanna charge, or maybe a battery bank, or maybe even an iPad that you wanna directly plug in, you can do so with that USB-A port, which is great to have. And then in terms of a charging brick, if you don't wanna spend the extra money through Zero's website to get the included charging brick for an additional, I believe it's $35 for that 65 watt GAN charger, which not only will be used for this, but can be used for any other Apple device. But the max output for this guy is 45 watts of power. So if you wanna use something that's a little bit smaller, or you have a 45 watt power brick laying around, that'll work as well. And then also included, even in the cheapest version of that $75 one, you get this really nice braided cable, which almost feels made out of metal, which I really, really like. And that's a USB-C to USB-C. So having that also in the box included is a great thing to have. So for either $75, you get this plus a braided cable, or for $110, you get a 65 watt GAN charger, which can be used with multiple devices because it also has because it also has two more ports aside from that main USB-C port. So you can charge even more devices on your nightstand if you're somebody that has multiple phones and multiple headphones and multiple, you know, Apple watches. So now that I've told you all the features that this thing includes for the price, you let me know in the comments down below if you've seen anything else at this price point with this much kind of added value overall. Like I said, they've thought of pretty much everything that you would need out of a nightstand charger, right? You have your three main functions, which is to charge your eye devices. You have an additional port to charge a fourth device. You have your night light mode, you have a kill switch. You also have that bottom switch to make sure that the light indicators aren't kind of in your face at night because they do get relatively bright if you are using all three of those light indicators. So for the price itself, this is an absolute no-brainer. And Zira, they've been a company that I've actually used before in the past. If you guys have seen my previous video on their three-in-one foldable charger, which is my favorite and still my most recommended travel charger because it's a three-in-one charger that folds into one charger, which has a MagSafe connector, a wireless charging pad, as well as your Apple Watch charger. I'll link all that down in the description below if you guys do want to check it out, as well as a three-in-one MegFold video that I am mentioning. But again, if you guys are looking for a nightstand charger, or you're looking for a new three-in-one charger, or even if you're looking for a gift to give somebody, this is something that I would recommend 100 times out of 100 times because from a price to performance ratio, I'm just a big advocate for getting the most value out of your money. And there's some nice ones that maybe feel a little bit more premium because they're made out of like heavy metal and titanium, but you're gonna be spending 130, 150, maybe even $200 for the same exact function when this one can get the job done and then some. But that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. Leave a comment down below what you currently use as your nightstand charger. Are you somebody that has the big three, the iPhone, the Apple Watch, and you know some sort of AirPod solution or maybe a wireless headphone solution? Let me know in the comment down below what you use and if this is something that you guys would be interested in, let me know because as I mentioned, for the price, this value is pretty much unmatched, but that's gonna do it everybody. If you did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you guys wanna watch more iOS, iPadOS, or macOS videos, click on one of these right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando. I'm out of here everybody. Peace.